Graphic Audio presents The Frontiersman. You're going courting, aren't you? That's none of your business. Going to see that Maureen Grantham? What if I am? Better not let Richard Aylesworth catch you there if you do. I'm not afraid of Richard Aylesworth. You should be, Brick. You should at least be worried about him. He has his eye on that Grantham girl, too. <laughs> you have no concept of what it is to be a gentleman, Wallace. You're an uncouth, unlearned barbarian. I, on the other hand, attended the Schofield Academy in Philadelphia and received a classical education. I heard they kicked you out after a year for causing trouble. Something about a duel fought over gambling debt? Or was it because of some other feller's wife? Maybe I'll ask Maureen if she's ever heard the truth about what happened up there. Keep your tongue off my affairs, you damned ridge runner. And if you say anything to Maureen, I'll... What was that, Richard? What are you and Breckenridge discussing? Nothing. I was just telling Wallace that I have to be gone. It sounds to me like someone needs to teach young Master Wallace a stern lesson about interfering in the affairs of his elders and betters. I was just thinking the same thing. Do you think you could gather up some of the boys? You made a mistake, you brigands. I don't have anything worth stealing. <laughs> He's right about that. Aylesworth! We're going to teach you a lesson, you oaf. <laughs> I got him, dick! <laughs> you bastard! You killed him! You killed Jasper! No. No, I won't hang for something that's not my fault. Stop him! For God's sake, stop him! You gotta get out of here. I don't want to leave home. It's your only chance. You need to head west into Missouri. Maybe even beyond Missouri. If you go far enough, the law won't be able to find you. They, they may not even try if you vanish into the frontier. How old are you anyway, girl? Sixteen. But don't let that worry you, mister. I don't care how much older than me you are. You ain't old enough to be running away from home, especially with a strange man. Your grandpa would be coming after me with a posse, and I don't need the extra trouble. Yep. Grandpa said you were likely on the run from the law. He liked you anyway. <sighs> you just watch your tongue, mister. I never said that this here girl is... is a trollop. Bill, I ain't sure I want to stay here after all. Don't be afraid. None of these fellas are big enough to scare me. You're a big one, all right. But put us all together, we're a heap bigger than you. Kill him! Kill him, big son of a bitch! <laughs> you have no food? No other weapons? No horse? Nope. All I own in the world is what I'm wearing. But you look like an American, um, uh, what is the word, uh, Frontiersman. I reckon that's what I started out to be. Somebody played a dirty trick on me, and I got robbed. They took everything I had. Was there a woman involved? How do you know that? <laughs> Where well, there is trouble, my friend, cherchez la femme. Look for the woman. Breckenridge, you shouldn't have come here. Maureen, what's wrong? Are you scared of that? Scared of my own husband? <laughs> Why would I be afraid of Richard? He loves me. Please, sit down. I told the maid to bring us some tea. We'll have a nice visit, but then you'll have to go. Richard's at the store now, but he'll be home directly. Miss Maureen, Miss Maureen! Is Mr. Ellsworth Miss Maureen? He... You goddamn homewrecker! I should have killed you when I had the chance. <laughs> Grab any weapons you can and fight for your lives, boys! Wallace, you're alive! Yeah. It was pretty damn close, though. My God, this is a savage place. I don't reckon there's any place under the sun that ain't. I will make it to the mountains. I will become a trapper. Available now in graphic audio.